Brace yourselves. The humanoid robot market just got a seismic shock. China's Unitree just unveiled a full-sized, back-flipping, factory-ready humanoid robot for less than the price of a used car. At just $5,900, the R1 isn't just undercutting the competition, it's obliterating the rulebook. And while Tesla, Figure AI, and Boston Dynamics scramble to slash their prices, Unitree's already moving on to the next phase, taking its robots public. But wait, this is just one of five insane humanoid breakthroughs you need to see today. We've got a guitar shredding robot stealing the spotlight at music festivals, a bike riding medicine reading companion that gives life advice at 5 a.m., Britain's fastest humanoid hands entering the race to challenge China, and a medical robot performing emergency procedures right now in hospitals. Let's break it all down. The robotics world just got turned upside down by Unitree's R1. And here's why this $5,900 humanoid is causing such a stir. First, let's talk specs because they're impressive for the price. The R1 stands at a compact but capable size, packing 26 high-performance joints that give it startling agility. In demos, we've seen it sprint downhill, execute flawless cartwheels, kung fu and recover from falls instantly, movements that typically require much more expensive hardware. What makes the R1 special is how Unitree managed to hit this price point without sacrificing core functionality. It's built as a development platform first, targeting researchers and software teams who need affordable access to capable humanoid hardware. The robot runs on Unitree's proven control stack, the same system used in their more advanced industrial models. This means developers can create and test software on the R1 that could eventually scale up to factory environments. Speaking of those industrial models, that's where things get really interesting. Unitree's larger H1, priced around $90,800, and G1, $13,800, are already working in Chinese auto plants like Geely and Neo, handling precise assembly line tasks. The R1 serves as the entry point to this ecosystem. Think of it as the affordable training wheels before moving up to industrial grade robots. Now let's talk about how this disrupts the market. Western competitors are scrambling because their price points suddenly look ridiculous in comparison. Figure AI's robot, currently being tested at BMW, costs about $50,000. Agility Robotics Digit runs around $250,000. Even Tesla's much-hyped Optimus won't hit sub-20,000 pricing until they achieve massive production scale. The R1 proves you don't need to spend six figures to get capable humanoid hardware. Unitree isn't stopping here. The company recently filed IPO documents with Chinese regulators, positioning itself to become the first publicly traded humanoid robotics specialist. With the R1, they're not just selling a robot, they're building an entire development pipeline. Early adopters can start with this $5,900 platform then potentially scale their solutions up to Unitree's industrial models as needs grow. The implications are huge. At this price, universities, research labs, and even ambitious individual developers can access humanoid robotics. While the R1 might not have all the capabilities of its more expensive cousins, it represents a democratization of the technology that could accelerate innovation across the field. When you combine the accessible pricing with Unitree's proven track record in industrial applications, you've got a formula that could reshape the entire robotics landscape. Now let's switch gears to something a little more entertaining. Adam, the robot that recently rocked out on stage at China's Voyage X Music Festival. This 5.5 foot tall, 136 pound humanoid from PND Botics joined musician Hu Yutong's band as a guitar player. And honestly, it looked pretty cool doing it. The version we saw performing was likely Adam's SP configuration, packing some serious tech under that loose hoodie and cap they dressed it in, probably to avoid scaring kids with its Terminator-like skeletal frame. We're talking about 44 degrees of full body freedom, 340 newton meters of joint torque, and five-fingered robotic hands. 
The whole system runs on NVIDIA's AI platform with support for deep reinforcement learning, which is impressive even if the festival performance was pre-programmed rather than an actual live improvisation. PND Botics is positioning Atom as a modular, AI-powered platform for developers, complete with open-source SDKs and advanced algorithms. They've got different versions in the works. The wheeled Atom U model launches this September at $45,000, while the full bipedal PS versions are still in prototype phase with listings showing $100,000 price tags. Let's be real. Adam isn't going to replace your favorite jazz musicians anytime soon. The festival performance was carefully choreographed with a support team monitoring everything. But as a demonstration of how humanoids could integrate into entertainment and as a marketing move, brilliant. The robot's precise movements synced perfectly with the music and the whole presentation showed how humanoids might eventually become standard parts of performances. What's coming next is interesting too. PND Botics is partnering with Noitom to launch that wheeled U model at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference. While it's still early days for Adam compared to more established industrial robots, this musical debut proves that humanoids aren't just about factory work, they're starting to find their way into our cultural spaces too. Shanghai's Agibot has created something special with their Lingxi X2 humanoid, Standing at 1.3 meters tall and weighing 33.8 kilos, this robot demonstrates capabilities that blur the line between machine and companion. It's worth mentioning how naturally it handles both physical tasks and social interactions. Watching it ride a bicycle or balance on a hoverboard shows impressive mobility, but its ability to read medicine instructions and offer health advice makes it truly unique. The technology behind Lynxy X2 is fascinating. It combines deep reinforcement learning with imitation learning to achieve fluid, human-like movements. When shown a phone displaying 5.42 a.m., it actually suggested drinking milk to help with sleep rather than juice, showing contextual understanding. The robot can mimic human breathing patterns and uses subtle body language to communicate, creating a surprisingly natural interaction experience. Agibot co-founder Peng Jihui demonstrated how Lingxi X2 can quickly read and comprehend medicine descriptions, potentially preventing dangerous mistakes. The robot's millisecond-level response time comes from its multimodal large language model foundation, allowing it to assess human emotions through facial expressions and tone of voice. While currently focused on elderly care and family companionship, the platform's ability to handle multiple roles from security to cleaning, suggests we're looking at one of the first truly versatile personal robots. British startup Humanoid has thrown its hat into the competitive Humanoid robotics ring with their HMND-01 model. This 175 centimeters tall, 70 kilos robot brings some serious specs to the table, including hand movements that actually surpass human speed for complex tasks. HMND01 has a particularly interesting modular design philosophy. Users can swap out different upper body, lower body, and end effector configurations based on their needs and budget. Performance-wise, this robot walks at 1.5 meters per second, carries up to 15 kilos, and operates for about four hours on a charge. While these numbers don't necessarily break new ground, the system's accuracy in confined spaces and its adaptable design make it particularly suited for retail and warehouse applications. The company is already developing a wheeled version scheduled for 2025, showing their commitment to multiple form factors. Founder Artem Sokolov makes a compelling case for HMND-01's approach. Since our world is already designed for humans, humanoid robots should integrate more seamlessly than specialized machines. However, with pricing still unannounced and established players like Unitree offering capable robots at shockingly low prices, Humanoid faces an uphill battle. Their potential pilot projects with retail companies could prove crucial in demonstrating real-world value beyond the impressive spec sheet. We started with Unitree's game-changing $5,900 Humanoid, and wouldn't you know it, we're ending with another Unitree bot doing backflips into medicine, literally. 
The G1 model recently became the first robot to perform a kip-up, that slick martial arts move where you spring from your back to standing. But its real breakthrough is happening in hospitals. Researchers at UC San Diego rigged a G1 with Inspire Gen 4 robotic hands and a bi-manual teleoperation system, creating a surprisingly versatile medical assistant. Using foot pedals and motion tracking, human operators remotely guided the robot through procedures ranging from basic physical exams to complex emergency interventions. The results? A 70% success rate on ultrasound-guided injections even when performed by non-clinicians, consistent ventilation capability, and decent intubation attempts, though it still needed human help maintaining proper seal pressure. Where it struggled was with delicate suturing, primarily due to insufficient haptic feedback. But considering this marks the first major study integrating humanoids into hospital workflows, the potential is massive. In an era of physician shortages and overcrowded ERs, Robots like the G1 could become crucial support players, handling routine exams in rural clinics or assisting during emergencies when every second counts. Unitry might have started with factory bots, but their technology could soon be saving lives. From 5.9K acrobats to ER-ready medics, China leads on price, but global rivals are closing in. So which robot blew your mind the most? The acrobatic R1? the musical Adam, or maybe the medical G1? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this tech dive, hit like and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.